Hello guys, and this is the ninth video of the UDK Advanced series, I think. Uh, sorry I haven't been doing many videos recently, I've been kind of caught up with my game project I've been working on with my team called Time Lost. I'm actually going to show something in this video so you can see uh, the sort of standard we're trying to hit at. Uh, I've just imported a weapon, a, a weapon that one of my models has made for us, and I'm going to show you how I set up the materials in UDK so it looks very nice. In the next two video, well, in this video and the next one, I'm going to be showing you how I set up the uh, materials. As you can see here, I've got a few different types of materials just for the one model. Uh, you can see that I've got the fuse, I've got my glow mask, specular, normal. You don't really need to worry about lens. Uh, lens alpha, that's just for the uh, site, don't worry about that for now. Okay, um, I've already gone over setting up diffuse materials and that's about it really. So in this video I'm going to show you how to work with specular and normal. And then in the next video I'm going to go over glow masks so you can make emissive materials and we have some nice lights and stuff like that. So to start off, I'm just going to go make a completely new material from scratch. So, just give me a second. New material, I'm just going to call this uh, Weapon Texture. There we go, and then I'm going to open that up in the Material Editor. And we're going to make three different texture samples. One for Diffuse, Normal, and Specular. So, T, you can just uh, press T and then click. There we go, and then, oh, sorry about that, one, two, and three. Okay, um, I'm not going to go into using your emissive at the moment, I'm just going to go for specular uh, and normal. What specular is, is it's a map that determines how shiny a object's going to be, so let's say I have a nice metal sh ball, it's going to be relatively shiny if the light's pointing at it, so you may want to play around with uh, different types of specular strengths and spe uh, specular power as you move it around your level depending on different type of lighting and the material that you're working with. So at the moment I'm just going to quickly hook up my diffuse into my first texture uh, texture sample and I'm going to drag that over and hook it up to diffuse. Okay and now as you can see here I've got my specular uh, you can't really see in too much detail what it looks like but I just want to say that dark means there's no light or there's no um, how can I say there's no uh, shininess on it at all and white is where it's really shiny and gray is probably medium just depends how gray or black or white it is so I'm gonna hook that up into my other texture sample here so let's just hook that up and I'm gonna put that into specular. You won't need to change any material settings around to make the specular work. But as you can see if I just hook that up, it hasn't gone too shiny. We need to add in a multiplier and a constant so it has a value for how shiny you need it to be. So I'm just going to uh break all the links to that there so it isn't hooked up to specular anymore and we're going to use a multiplier node so let's just go get a, our constant first just going to use a normal standard constant and we're going to go to new and then maths then add not add sorry uh, I accidentally did that we need a multiply we need to multiply the texture sample by the constant and then hook that up into specular so let's go get our multiply and then hook that up into multiply it's going to have that little error there just because we haven't got anything going into the input so let's go put uh, alpha into texture sample and then our constant into B there we go and now we've got our nice shiny material it doesn't look too much uh, too shiny because it's zero meaning there's no shininess at all whatsoever so we can just change around the value here so let's just say we add change it to five it may take a little uh, bit of time to start being shiny so let's say I have something like 200 it's going to light up quite a bit or if I change it up to 1000 it's going to light up like a mother trucker 
which you will see now there we go okay also I wanted to show you how to use your normal map in this video so I'm just gonna hook that up uh, normal maps are pretty simple you just bring it into your texture sample and then you just hook that up to normal under the material settings so normal and now I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the actual model I've uh, I'm gonna after I bring it into the game itself and it's gonna scale that up for you uh, my models don't really work with unreal units so it can be slightly sloppy okay so let's see if I can find that material I made just then uh, there it is weapon texture and you can see because at the moment I have it at like a foul uh, my specular at thousand some of the lighter areas are pretty bright right now and that's not what we want so as I said earlier you just want to play around with some of the values so it is just about the right shade I mean weapons aren't meant to be super shiny in your face blind you so I'm just gonna change this down to let's uh, say 100 that uh, well, yeah, 100 seems nice just give that a second to render out and then apply changes and yeah that's a lot more realistic so now you should be able to work with standard uh, spec uh, specular maps and your constants I, I haven't really gone into too much uh, detail into what constants are already so this should give you a quick heads up that basically it's just a variable of that you can use on things like emissive, uh, specular, there's loads of other things. So thanks for watching this video, in the next video I'm going to go over emissive materials, uh, I'll probably get that out sometime tomorrow, I'm going to, uh, yeah, but anyway, have fun, comment, like and subscribe, good luck, don't forget to like us on Facebook, I've got the link in the description, goodbye.